Hello, this is Scott from IcanRunAMinute.com, and Eddie Marathon reminded me of something today that I hadn't thought about in a long time, kind of pertaining to my first marathon, which I don't have a shirt for my first marathon. I don't know if there was one. I don't remember one for the first marathon, and this this would be 1994, and I think Judy would remember this. You know how the, you know, you got these timing chips and stuff and on your bib and stuff now? Earlier runs didn't have timing chips, and uh the bottom of the uh, bib, like you would pull off the bottom, I remember there'd be a big hole on the strip you'd pull off, and once you crossed the finish line, you'd hand that to whoever was there, and there was this big sewing needle, and they would put it on there, and there was a you know, string attached to it, and that's what place you came in, whatever order your uh, strip was. I don't know how they did the time back then, and I've never been able to find a time online for uh, that first run. I only know it's somewhere between... 4.30 and 4.42 because my second run was about an hour slower at least an hour slower and Oprah ran at 4.29 in the uh, Marine Corps Marathon and I know she beat me so I can't uh, my fish story can only go to 4.30 I can't make it any better than that uh, this is a, I try to keep my videos to 3 to 4 minutes but, but if I were to do that I, this is the first uh, marathon this is like the only medal I care about and uh I, I could talk an entire month about this run right here. There's so many indelible memories uh, from the training beforehand to the race itself to uh, after the race. There's so much to it. Uh, Eddie mentioned streaking though, like like real streaking. And this is back 94, I guess the summer of 94. And everything was close by. The house where I lived in the bar at the bowling alley and this park I run at. Everything's like within a half mile, mile of each other. And uh, I was drinking with my significant other at the time. I don't know what possessed us to do this. I really don't. But I guess after we left, you know, our pitchers were only like, I don't know, a little over two bucks a pitcher, maybe 240, 260 a pitcher. It's really cheap. And we ended up at the park where we train at that has a mile and a half path. We were down by the lake. I, I don't, I don't know how we, exactly it happened, but next thing you know, we're wearing nothing but our running shoes and our socks. So we weren't fully nude, but that was it. And you know, it's like I don't know, one or two o'clock in the morning, and we want to run the mile and a half path, I guess, uh, in our birthday suits. And I remember we ran by the lake, and there's one part of the path that goes. Uh, it's adjacent to a road <laughs> for some reason I'm running down the middle of the road you know it was fun I, uh, I was gonna say I looked good at that time let's just say I looked better you know than I do now and we made it all the way around back to the uh, two tenths of a mile marker so I guess we started out between 0.5 and 0.6 and after 0.2 we looked over and there was a cop car by the car we drove in and the cops are feeling the hood. I guess they could tell it's still warm. So we had to be close by and we, we hit a ditch, you know, we we're trying to hide. And uh, that didn't work out. Eventually, flashlight's coming towards us and I just kind of popped up. And, hey, you mind if we put our clothes back on? He's like, where are they at? And I, you know, they were on a picnic table over by the lake. Yeah, go ahead. And uh, so we did and we didn't get any trouble or anything. And uh, I guess, and that was it. We went to Denny's after that. And just kind of, what a riot though. We're less than three tenths of a mile short though from making the uh, entire 1.5 mile path. So that was pretty good. And, you know, we were just running machines back then. Every, every run was single digit miles. I, I remember I used to look at the stopwatch and everything. God, this goes back in the 79, 80. It was, uh, You'd see 48 seconds on the 10th, you know, or between 48 and 52, and 48 corresponds to like an eight-minute mile. And that was just training. Well, that's it. Uh, that was fun. I don't know if that's a record I'm going to try to beat, like some of the other things I have in my head. I'd, I'd forgotten about it until Eddie talked to, about his streak, and that's pretty cool that he's got a streak going. And, uh, and Judy's got the ultimate streak going here. Number 68, I believe, in the all-time list on the United States Run Streak Association. 30 years this November. It's, it's, hard to, I, it's hard to comprehend. It's pretty amazing. 
Thanks for watching.